Hello, my name is Dr. Miguel Levario. I'm in the Department of History. I specialize in U.S. history and U.S.-Mexico borderlands history. So you want me to tell you about this prop? Well, I had a hard time picking out something from my office and here from my house, but I want to go back to way back to what really helped me get to where I'm at. We were doing field work in Chihuahua, and I bought this set up, and it was something that's always been with me from New Mexico to Indiana to California and back to Texas. So it's something that kind of uh, reminds me of the experience I had that prompted me to change majors from pharmacy. And trust me, I think most people wouldn't want me to be a pharmacist anyway, since I could barely pronounce ibuprofen. What is something you love about the College of Arts and Sciences? Um, I love the faculty that are in the College of Arts and Sciences, of course. Uh, with my academic background, uh, I love the interdisciplinary aspect of the arts and sciences with people from the English department, Spanish department, even like sociology and, and, and linguistics and so forth. And then the fact that most of our students have to take at least one of our classes. So I get, I feel like I get to meet and get to know many of our students. For example, I'm teaching a class, a Texas history class, that's going to have nearly 400 students. I have a small theater background, so I'd look at it as a performance. I was thinking, what is an odd talent you have? I don't know. I'm an odd person all around, so it's kind of everything. I don't know if it's talent, but more like things I've done there are odd that most people don't expect from a six foot six uh, Mexican guy. I did musical theater in high school. I didn't play football. What is a musical that you remember performing in? Oh, it was easy. It's the damn Yankees. It's the one that I did. I got an award in it, that's why I can remember it. And it was my senior year of high school. One of my favorite movies is Grease. And my wife makes fun of me because it's like my all-time favorite. What song are you listening to on repeat? Oh, I don't know if I want to say because it might reveal like where I'm at right now. Um, no, <laughs> no, maybe someday it will be. No, it's Rage Against the Machine, Gorilla Radio. Oh, what's the sixth kid? What is it? Killing in the Name of, that's the one I have on repeat. Audra Day's uh, Rise Up. Those are the two, just kind of like polar opposites of each other. What is the best vacation spot you visited? Oh, that's a good one. There's a lot. Um, in fact, just recently, I had the great fortune of teaching at the Texas Tech Costa Rica campus uh, in 2019 to 2020. Um, it's a beautiful building. So, you know, the, the, the students were exceptional. Next question, of course, related to my, my work, U.S.-Mexico border immigration and militarization. What role does this play in U.S. history? It plays everything. Um, that's the beauty of U.S. history is that it's transnational. I mean, it's not in a vacuum and it's not isolated and you know even before we had a u.s mexico border the ideas of borders were very much entrenched in how we understand the progression of what we know as u.s history question six texas tech is recognized as hispanic serving institution what is special about this to you it was very special to me because i had a i feel like i had a part in it i participated in helping recruit students from el paso uh so in some small, very small way, I felt like I contributed to that, increasing our numbers of, of El Pasoans coming to this university. I served on the university committee when this was about to happen. Uh, this is back in 2017, 2018, so right before we were going to reach that enrollment number to give us that designation. And I think the efforts that everybody did, from the president on down, to, to do that, is special. We helped establish the Institute for Latino Studies uh, here and we're slowly moving and, 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 and firmly establishing it and, and providing uh, resources for students uh, both from a financial aid point of view but also research experience, uh, getting our faculty to have some, some research money to help our students feel that they belong here. We need to somehow bring that here so that the students come here from places like El Paso or come from traditional backgrounds where they're the only person in their family that's ever left that city or that town. And once we do that, then things can, can build from there, I believe. Who is someone that has impacted your life and career? Oh my gosh, there's a laundry list. I mean, first and foremost is going to be my parents. Uh, that's, that's automatic. Uh, my parents are humble people who gave everything for my brothers and I. Oh, I don't know. I have an identical twin brother. I guess he'd be my doppelganger. So who is your celebrity doppelganger? No, I don't really want to answer that. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. But don't tell me either, because I don't want to feel bad.
This is Miguel Levario. This has been five minutes. I wish you all well and make good decisions out there.